Now, a News 2 I-Team investigation. Legislators return to Columbia in less than a month on January 10th. It's likely two of the biggest issues they face this session, roads and the broken pension program that is billions of dollars short. Tonight, News 2's investigator Rebecca Collette gives us an update on plans to fix that pension program that has become a burden not just to state employees but to all taxpayers. Good evening. Here's where the pension problem impacts you, whether or not you work for the state. Schools, towns, and other entities that employ state workers have been tasked with putting more money into the state system. That means more of your tax money going in. Teachers, police, firefighters, and state and local government workers, they pay into the state pension system, but the state uses your tax money to pay the rest. The program has been deteriorating since 1999 after a series of bad investments and unmanaged expectations on returns. It's an extremely complicated, complicated process. Uh, Senator Sean Bennett is on the Senate and House Joint Committee tasked with tackling the problem. He says the state is somewhere between 20 and 40 billion dollars short on pension. State employees already pay 45% more than the national average into the system. That means an average teacher takes home $107 less than out-of-state counterparts. We recognize that there's a problem. We have uh, promises that we've made to state and, and other members of the South Carolina retirement system that we know that we have to fulfill. But it's likely to take years to fix. They'll be future taxpayers. They're probably taxpayers not yet born that are being hung with this debt now. Bennett says it's likely this will be one of the first issues tackled this session and the Joint Committee has been working on solutions and they're trying to pitch legislation both can agree to quickly to shore up the system now, but it's likely the state will need an alternative pension plan, more like a 401k long term. Rebecca Collette, News 2. The I-Team also reached out to the state treasurer, Curtis Loftus, told us in part, starting in January, lawmakers will begin debating how to solve the problems that plague our state's pension system. The pension debt is over $24 billion, and I believe that 2017 is our last chance to fix the system at a cost we can afford. A solution to the pension debt must be the legislature's number one priority. Remember, if you have something that you want the I-Team to investigate, email us at iteam at wcbd.com. You can also call the I-Team hotline 843-216-4949.